Hey guys, it's uh, Rafael here, aqui amigo Rafael, just uh, wanted to show you that uh, I already unpacked Arthur Fleck, ya yeah, lo saque de la caja Arthur Fleck, uh, so this is how he came in, así es como vino, and as you can see, he comes in uh, well packed, como pueden ver, uh, viene bien empacado, and this is the top part of the box, así es como se ve la caja de, de arriba, So let's look at the, uh, so let's look at what you get. Here is the Arthur Fleck plaque. Aquí está la, el certificado. 108 of 350. You get your gun. Nice weight. La, la pistola. Bastante peso. Get your bullets. These are nice bullets. That's what balas tan padre. You can take them out, actually. They don't fit the gun, which kind of sucks. No, no caben en la pistola, así que eso sí valió gorro. Because somehow you just can't open the gun up. And I, I mean, it turns around, but I was hoping you can uh, put them in there. And I think there's a video out there that says the fit, bullets fit. But, uh, well, they don't. Oh, and I forgot. Se me olvidó. In his pocket, you have his little card. Tiene la tarjeta. So that's very cool. Nice touch. Okay, guys, so let's start with the base. Vamos a empezar con la base. It's very simple, muy simple, and I love that. As this company, JND Studios, la compañía JND Studios, uh, like this because they are museum poses. Uh, ellos prefieren algo así porque es este, estatuas este, de uh, poses de museo. No sé si así se diga, which I love. I also, you know, as you all know, I'm a huge Cinema Cat collector. Como todo el mundo sabe, yo soy este un coleccionista de Cinema Cat. And I really love their company because of the silicone human. Me encantaba esa compañía por los humanos que sacaban de silicone. The likenesses here on this company are truly amazing. So, uh, again, uh, this company, although new, a pesar de que esta compañía es nueva, there was a big risk on paying so much money era un riesgo pagar tanto dinero on something we really haven't seen from this company en algo que nunca hemos visto de esta compañía but the way I saw the prototype I loved it like any other company como vi el prototipo me encantó but then do you get the same thing in the production piece luego la pregunta es ¿te darán lo mismo en la producción? well to be honest with you guys yes this company delivered I mean it is amazing it's probably the only company I've seen so far that delivers what they promise. Uh, 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 yeah, creo que es la primer compañía que, que este, dan lo que prometen. Um, are there any flaws on this thing? Well, you know, we'll talk about it if they are. Si hay algunos errores en esto, vamos a ver. Um, but for being the first one, it's amazing. Por ser el primero, es increíble. So I have full faith in this company. Again, the base is simple, which is great. I love the other bases in the past from Cinemacad and ECC, but they are huge. Están muy grandes, and they're getting way too huge, and sometimes you just don't know where to put them. Uh, and they're amazing. Uh, but I've always preferred something simpler. Yo prefiero siempre una base más sencilla, porque de las otras compañías de col donde colecciono, de Cinemacad y ECC, pues sí, están increíbles, pero muy grandes las bases. Uh, anyway, so... Let's get going and start looking at the base. This is the Joker. This is the base, the Joker. Arthur Fleck. As you can see already, this is great. Como ven ahorita, está va todo muy muy bien. Now, the interesting and amazing thing about this, lo interesante y lo increíble de esto, es de que también las manos son silicone. That the hands are also silicone. Which is great. Oh, and you do get a little bag. Tienen su bolsita, where to put the gun. And a bigger bag. And this is where the bullets used to go. I say used to because I did a little something before... Uh, doing this final video. Uh, aquí es donde iban las balas. Y digo iban porque yo hice algo antes de hacer este video. 
but we'll get to that. But yeah, llegaremos a eso. Again, silicone hands, very cool. Manos de silicone. And I put my gun on his belt line there. Yo puse la pistola ahí. I think guys, that's where I'll keep it. Yo creo que ahí la voy a mantener. I don't want to put it in a bag where you won't see it. No quiero ponerla en la bolsa porque no la verán. And I know you're probably seeing something there. There's actually bullets in there. But I'll get to that in a bit. Realmente ven las balas ahí. Pero ya les explico eso. The tailoring on this is amazing. I mean, it's very cool. Todo está muy bien hecho aquí. The zipper. Have to say, I mean, this company has, I think, has blown any other company in the one-third scale out of the water. Esta compañía creo que ha sobrepasado las otras compañías de un tercio escala. And here he is, my friends. Y aquí está. Now, one thing I will say about my piece, una cosa que sí diré en mi pieza. The hairline on mine did not come like this. Uh, el pelo no vino así tan perfecto en la orilla. Uh, it could have been just mine because I have seen pictures of the other ones, uh, of all the heads, and they, the hairline was very nice. But this one was not perfect hairline, uh, and I will show you this in two seconds. And as you can see here, the little Barbie style hairline, como pueden ver, está un poquito separado. So it's a little bit separate there. So that's the only, only issue on mine at least. So I went ahead and added some uh, real human hair. I uh, utilicé pelo este de humano. And added a little bit on uh, the, the areas and I think it looks a little bit better. Y ahora sí ya se ve un poquito mucho mejor. So if it was just mine, okay, it's cool. Um, so that's one thing, uh, JND Studios, if you can concentrate on making sure the hairline does look subtle, like in your prototypes, that'd be amazing. That's really the only thing I would say bad about this piece, but other than that, it's it's great. Uh, again, it could have been just my piece. Creo yo que tal vez nada más fue mi, mi pieza, no, no las demás, pero esperemos que eso esté mejoren. It has glass eyes, ojos de vidrio. But look at the likeness. This is just amazing. Oh, the hair is punched in. Todo el pelo está, está este, you know, adentro. Very nice. I mean, if you got this, you can't go wrong. Now, I know some people have said that why would anybody want a uh, one-third scale of Joaquin Phoenix? But I don't see Joaquin Phoenix here. I see Arthur Fleck. So it's amazing. Muchos han de decir, ¿para qué quiere uno una estatua de un personaje? O no personaje, sino más bien un humano, o sea, como el Joaquin Phoenix. Pero realmente no veo yo aquí a Joaquin Phoenix. Yo veo aquí a Arthur Fleck. Again, the likeness is amazing. Very, very cool. Again, let me see if I can zoom in on the eyes. A ver si puedo entrar los ojos. Whoa. Vamos a ver. Anyway, well, there you go. I mean, it's amazing. It's incredible. Also, I've ordered the Wonder Woman and uh, the Heath Ledger Joker. También ordené la Mujer Maravilla y el Joker de Heath Ledger. Now, I have read on other comments where uh, once they saw the movie of the Wonder Woman, some people, I think, canceled their order because the movie sucked. Las personas leí que cancelaron su orden de la Mujer Maravilla porque la película valió madres. But in reality, I mean, really... I mean, I don't really care if the movie sucked. If the per the, the uh, character looks amazing and a company can make it look like, in reality, a piece of art, that's what I care for. Owning a piece of art. So what if the movie sucked? 
this is amazing and Wonder Woman I have faith that it's going to be amazing even if the movie was not that great now let me show you the gun here very quickly uh, what I went ahead and, and did is I was able to just open it up now and the thing is you know you don't don't ask me to do this for you guys because I, I, it's impossible to do I mean it was hard and if I'm going to mess things up, I'll mess mine up, but not no one else. Uh, no me pregunten que lo haga para ustedes, por favor, porque eso estaba difícil. Y no quiero arruinar una de sus, sus cosas de ustedes. So here they are. I drilled the holes a lot bigger. Now you can put the bullets inside. And there you, there you have it. So it's kind of cool. Ahora sí, ya está padre. Alright guys, so here he is. Aquí, aquí está, amigos. Again, uh, you know, it saddens me that uh, Cinemaquette stopped doing humans, which is too bad. A lastima que Cinemaquette ya dejó de hacer humanos. But, well, we have J&D Studios. Pero ya tenemos uh, un estudio JND. And so far, it's going to be an amazing company. Although I wish we could have a Jack Nicholson Joker. Aunque me encantaría un Joker de Jack Nicholson. Alright guys, again, very quickly, JND Studios, great job. Very proud of you guys, very happy with this piece, can't wait for the other ones. Uh, but again, it could have just been my piece, but always please remember to make a good hairline. Uh, a lo mejor, you know, fue nada más el mío, lo del pelo. Again, it could have just been mine. Uh, but other than that, this is perfect, in my opinion. Thanks so much, JD Studios. Keep up the great work. Till next time. Hasta la próxima.